Hey everyone, welcome back to Flames Plays, and we are in Omicron, and that man is missing his head. As is that man. Or woman, I don't know. Okay. So normally we're able to listen to those, but now they're all garbly. We should put this hat on, just for safety reasons. Can we do it? Can we do it? That was bullshit. I totally made that. I should be wearing a fancy new hat right now. The game just doesn't want to let me do it. The game's holding me back for my true potential as a hat-wearing man. What's going on over here? I'm hearing noises. Uh, what the fuck are you? Yep, closing the door. What's up with you? How you doing? You're, I can't, I can't listen to you. Okay. All right. Well, that door's locked, so the only option I have is that creepy teleporty thing. Cool. Global lockdown active. A red dot at dive room console. Um. Yeah, that thing was. Pretty creepy looking. Oh, they use trek balls here. I didn't realize that. Do they always use that? I don't know if I actually see a mouse. One thing I want to say, this game definitely has like some weird body horror kind of thing. Where like it's all mutilated. It's basically a mutilated body is what the enemy monsters all are. They're just mutilated with the way. Um, it's just really cool. Like it's, it's, it reminds me a lot of the thing. But with less chest eating hands. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Oh, cool. Catherine, you're back. What's up? Hey, girl. Uh, is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Amidul falling apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? You think we'll find one that fits that me? Ones? I mean... I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. So that's very similar to the whole teleportation issue, where if you teleport your atoms, is it still you? Because you're, you're broken down, rebuilt, and then your initial copy is destroyed, so is it still you? And a very interesting movie that covered that too. Oh, I thought that was a button I could hit. It looks like, a peanut, it looks like an M&M. Now I want an M&M. So I'm assuming that this is the suit that we're referring to. God damn, that thing is creepy as hell. Is there a head in there? Is there a... Yep. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, God. Nice. The Sorry. One of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. Sorry, Riley. I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Wait. Did it... Did it... Okay. Did it kill her? Rip, it, rip her head off and then put her back in the suit? I don't I don't get that. Anyway, there's uh, this movie called The Prestige. absolutely loved it. And a very similar idea. Which, sorry if I just spoiled part of The Prestige for you, but still. If you if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely watch it. Um, there you go. A high-pressure suit, a high-pressure power suit, guaranteed to withstand temperature spanning from 50C to 75C while keeping a steady 40C on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. 
The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating nest, neck and wrist rings that lock the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a, sense, a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through sin con conductance. It uses the information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Okay, that's cool. So there's two suits out there. Oh, there's one at Tau as well. Shoot, what? This is D. Okay. Boot up that D. Oh. Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit okay. you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. The set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. But what if I need to use your use my tool? Open stuff up. See, like that. I need the tool. Mm -hmm. Um, we use okay. Gotta put the tablet. I had to read this out. Power suits tested and ready. Omicron scans are in the arc. Loading equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Crane operator ready. Omicron standby for pickup in two days. So it looks like they were moving the uh, thing over here. That's how to use it. I'm already bored from that. Hey, yeah, there's a picture of everyone in here. Um, can't really read anyone. Oh, Catherine. Is that Catherine? Yeah, that's Catherine on, on the far left. Cool. This is like a local celebrity. What? Oh. Catherine, could you open your locker? Maybe you have some of the stuff in it. Or not. That's cool, too. Just ignore me. We're gonna Don't come across forget, that. We need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Thanks. We're gonna come across that spooky guy, aren't we? Storage. That's the perfect spot for stuff. I don't know what any of that looks like. Like, literally any of it at all. Catherine, could you send me, like, a diagram, maybe? Start, for, start clicking things. Nope. And if I can't pick it up, if I can pick it up, I probably don't need it. Looks like the arc on the bottom. Okay, is there anything in here that we actually could use? It doesn't appear to be. Oh, wait, what's here? Pressure chamber. I think this would kill us. Now I'm realizing, if we were to be exp exposed to high pressure right now, it would probably kill us. Don't do it, Mr. Jerk. Okay, we can actually override it now. Nope. Error moving lockdown. Stay by for diagnosis. Finding fault location. Go ahead and see this. If only troubleshooting was actually like this. Power room, system overload. And reroute it, apparently. Oh boy, one of these things. Shit. What am I trying to do? Am I trying to just do this in one... Oh! I know what this is. I get it now. Aha! Oop! Nailed it! Oh, I actually went two different ways with that, but still, it works. Oh yeah, okay! 
No need to do that. You don't. I, I just freed that guy, didn't I? I freed him, didn't I? God damn it. Oh, he's going to be spooking me up soon. I got some notes. Ruffy. An unused, sedated orange Ruffy found hovering outside Omicron sub substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with his perception. Brought it inside the study, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life within boss being out of water. Kept, sw swimming for, uh, kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned to an aquarium. It instantly started blood banging against the into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Jelly, dead on arrival. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 9, 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudderfish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's... I'm hearing voices behind me. It's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Overy can't shut up about. Johan Ross. The dead man found the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the Ark team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have found a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without reason. Okay, you you can stay there. You can just you can just stay right there, buddy. I have no interest in freeing you because you're not free. I just found, I realized the door's not open, so you can't get out. I hope. Oh, we need a power cell. And that's probably gonna kill the door at some point. All right, it's all this stuff. Um. Well, let's see. Got some test tubes. Those are always cool. More reading stuff. Connectivity. Oh, okay. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Wow. Wow, it's okay. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. And if applied to circuits, it seems to help without connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that don't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the code. I just saw we need to stop it show up on the screen. It's either we need to stop the WoW or we need to stop Catherine. I think Catherine's not all that she's coming out, or she seemed to be, especially because her Omni tool has that wow stuck on the bottom left side of it. I think she's somewhat affected by it. Uh, apply gel to a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same, get, get the virus. Okay. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened with it, within it. Okay. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Ames. The results were impressive. The thing appeared catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as, as before... Oh, a lot of words come up here. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are magnets. Well, why did I say that weird? Are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has provided us with the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with aligned graphene and a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the way. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The way simply uses it in a way that we never even dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes all the all. Okay, I'm trying to read here. Please excuse me, way. I think it's the way. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the way via structure gel. They have, in some manner, been exposed to charged gel, and in turn stricken by a cancerous growth that affects their whole being. It's difficult to ask why, when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or carefully program, programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Alright, so that thing is complaining about... Okay, we got some gel. Come on, seriously? Let's break the damn glass. 
Uh, this has never seen something of that speed. Okay, that's scary. Oh, another missing head. Interesting. How do we replace the chip? What about in here? Is there anything in here we can use? Can I get that chip? Oh! Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. We pull this drawer. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, I get it. We put the chip on here. Yeah! Haha! -ha. Games let me do that. We put the chip on there and it'll repair it. Oh, I have to actually drag it all the way over here. A little bit further. A little bit further. Not too far. A little bit to the left. A little bit to the left. A little bit more. A little bit, little bit more. Oh my god, game. Okay, that's too much. Alright, you know, screw it. We're doing this. Okay. It didn't have to be locked on anyway. Ooh, it's coming to life. We're repairing it. Oh yeah, we got a new better we got a new chip. Better chip, improved chip. And we're gonna put it in the next episode. So if you guys are enjoying this series, we're learning a lot about the environment as well as some of the characters, which is really cool. I really like this kind of storytelling. Uh, it's coming in pieces which lets you I don't want to say draw out, but it makes you more engrossed in the story. In my opinion at least. If you're enjoying it, leave a comment, leave a like. It's always appreciated. If you have any suggestions for getting to play in the future, feel free to leave it down there as well. Make sure you're subscribed so you get updates from release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day and remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.